Hello guys, this is Ogi here. Today I'm going to work on a video. I'm gonna make this video for, uh, there's a few people that have been asking how to convert a momentary switch like this one to a three position switch. I've done that before and I posted something a few years ago. So I'm gonna actually show it to you guys with a, with a video. So let me see, first, um, the one the thing that you want to do is first separate these two as you can see here okay open them like this and uh, that will be fixed later so don't worry about bending it right now okay so you open that and you get this out okay you will notice uh, how this thing works it's pretty simple there's um there is a, a spring here uh, as you can see here see that spring that pushes this lever here little lever here see if I can show it to you closer this is the lever and the difference between this one and a regular switch is that this lever has an extra see that that extra bend there so what you have to do to make it um, work is you simply take that off you know because if you look at the contacts you have the contacts on the two ends and the center is the pivot point okay what you do is you make it so that you copy the same shape that is on this side into this side so that's done simply by cutting this off a little bit where it bends okay and then open this a little bit so you see how this side is slightly more open well just open it a little bit more okay to make it similar that's about right you want to start cutting not fully so that you can test here to make sure that it goes to the to the end and touches because you can see inside the contacts are the ends of these uh, terminals you know so you want to be able to go here the other way okay put it in the middle and check that it goes all the way and touches okay so it seems to be working fine so i'm going to make sure that it's straight okay so let's see here i want to be focus this more okay slightly off and as you can see so I'm going to fix that to make it flat. So you have a good contact. I'm shaving a little bit off to make it same as the, as the other one. Okay, fixed. So you put it back like that. So the next thing that you want to do to get it fully secure correctly is you want to first get this one turned up slightly like that okay see how the, the little ones okay and why do you want to do that is because what you want to do is once they are straight you can put this other back in the shape that they are supposed to be like Okay, like that. So that when you uh, insert it here, it's correctly contacting the two sides, the two walls of the switch. Okay, so you come down this way. Make sure this, is, this one is flat. Okay, 
I'm coming down now. And as you can see, now the only thing you need to do, now both uh, both um, uh, walls are contacting correctly. Okay, so now we're going to reassemble it. This is what you do, you put this. Okay, there it is. And this one back in. Okay. And now from a corner like this, start bending them back inwards. Okay, you can then all the way sitting. Finish making them fully flat now. Okay, now you have a full three position switch. Okay, that's it. Hope you guys uh, enjoy this.